Well, another food service worker in our area is using her work to help bring people and recipes together in harmony. A Webster County woman travels to different North Mississippi cities setting up her kitchen. Our Stephanie Poole joins us in the studio with more about the plans for this new business. Yes, Andrea, each morning Stephanie Logan loads her pots and pans and then buckles her seat belt. She goes from town to town serving up a new way to bring people closer together. Rain or shine, you'll find Heather Andrews right here every Tuesday. I love the chicken tacos. Uh, they have a faithful following for sure when they come. Schmitch and Jiggles is the name of Stephanie Logan's food truck. The Yapora woman goes from town to town with her grill, serving multicultural cuisine. And when I moved here, we had very few options. Our options are good, they're just not a lot of them. Uh, and I just, I remember hearing people say all the time, I wish we had something else, you know, something new. We eat the same thing all the time. So we wanted to offer that. Logan set aside her stethoscope and career as a nurse to follow her passion in the kitchen. I cooked some street tacos at home one day, and um, my husband said, we got to get a taco truck. And I was like, there's no way we can live on a taco truck. I'm a nurse. I've been the, uh, working for a healthcare company in Charlottesville for uh, 12 years and left that to do this full time. In just four months of serving on the streets, Logan has cooked in Webster, Calhoun, and Octibaha counties. We have got some customers that have come back several times and have been like, these are the best tacos I've ever had in my life. We try to swap it up every week also to give people a little bit of variety. Food is a comfort to some. For others, it's a necessity they can't afford. In her travels, Logan has learned there are hungry families in the communities she's cooked in. Now she's doing her part to serve a little bit of happiness to the hungry. We try to just, just to pick me up now and then for somebody who could use it. And we want to expand the mission to be able to feed families for holidays and um, things like that. Some people are just hitting a tough spot in their life with whatever challenge it may be. Um, it's all anonymous, so we don't, we're not delivering it ourselves. Um, and if we do, so many of them have been willing to take the meals and deliver it to to the families and um, it's something we've just started really this week but for more information on how you can request to feed a family visit our website wcbi.com